What's up, Cycle Drag? How you doing? Well, get ready because I'm going to take you on an adventure with me. Where are we? We're here at DFW Airport connecting to go where? Where are we going? You know, we love to expose motorcycle drag racing everywhere. And we're very humble that a lot of promoters out there far and wide all over the world have been asking us to come to races. Well, we are going to Vancouver, Canada. I'm really excited for this. I've been to Canada before, but never for motorcycle drag racing. We've been abroad on this channel. We've been to Australia. We've been to England, but that was all pre-pandemic. So this will be our first international trip and I'm bringing you with me. Now look, there are some fast motorcycles over there that I know don't always get the spotlight. So I'm excited to see what we can find and excited to give some of those great individuals the exposure they deserve. Let's go guys. Next stop, Vancouver, Canada. The only thing that would be better is if I somehow got upgraded on this flight. It doesn't matter. It's going to be awesome no matter what. Yeah, for sure. I'll never complain about those upgrades when they happen, especially on the longer flights. But take a look. It's busy. Airports slammed again. People are traveling again. Oh, hallelujah. I'm liking Canada even more. Just got upgraded from 32D because I needed an owl seat to 1D. Not complaining. And here's something I'm not used to bringing that I definitely will need to get on this flight. All right, we got through that. As the Taylor Swift song goes, grab your passport and my hand. Uh, not that I revealed my guilty pleasure of Taylor Swift, but Taylor, if you do watch this channel, please, please reach out. Well, guys, like I said, doesn't happen all the time, but I will take it from 32 to 1. So a lot of people don't know this, but on a lot of these flights, I pass time by editing cycle drag videos. So I got a few to work on and excited to make my way to Canada. We're going to see some fast bikes, guys. Welcome to Vancouver. Wow. 915 still light in Vancouver and now we're stuck inside it's kind of strange huh we're stuck inside here you've tried to get anywhere travel a lot guys this one is a first <laughs> can't seem to get out of here it's all right he's on his way he's just put his hand up don't yell at him could, is there any way you can contact the um, American agent? Thanks, sir. <laughs> is he going to get one? No, it doesn't just appear, a, it doesn't appear no, so. It's no, just it doesn't appear so. Yeah. Us. Not my job. It's not my job. Yeah. This is a little strange. Um, Definitely not what you want to do after 10 hours of travel either. Yeah. Good success. We're out. Yay. Well, I'm glad it wasn't my fault. Is all I can say. I was batting lead off. I was the first one to the door, and I'm like, it's not open. We waited for about 10 minutes. They just needed an American Airlines employee to come get us out. They said a Canadian employee couldn't. It's been a long travel day for a lot of these people, and they were getting a little impatient. So that's okay. We're here. Let's go through customs. Supposed to meet the milkman Terry Schweigert here soon. Wow, and that's it. One, two, three, and you're out, guys. Uh, I'm not that old, but I can tell you, things have really changed. I used to uh, travel about 10 years ago to Canada with WWE, and you would have to meet with an agent, answer a bunch of questions. Now it's just go to a kiosk, print something out. If everything's good, you're good to go. Wow, that was really easy. So now let's see if I can find my buddy Terry Schweiger because I don't have any seltzer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, right on time. Is it the Fast Canadian? Thank you so much, my brother. So good, good to, to see you. you. Welcome to the Wild West. Thank you very much. And guys, this is blowing my mind. Terry just educated me here. Terry, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. It is still light. In Alberta, in Edmonton, it's been light longer. Wow. Well, we are close to Alaska. We're getting up towards that. Unbelievable, guys. It's weird, especially if you're jet lagged. Woo, felt good to sleep. Nice hotel here, ready to go. Beautiful. I noticed one thing in Canada, it's not up and down on the elevator, it's car call. Well, I'm gonna call my car so I can meet Terry and get to the drag strip. Now this is a special moment because I found Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry, I would like to make you an official member of Cycle Drag Universe. Thank you so much for having me up here. Got this shirt, I'm excited. What can I expect today at the drag strip? Oh, you can expect uh, a lot of 
bikes going down the track. Uh, top Fuel Harley's going to be there. Oh. And uh, yeah, the MDRA, it'll be good. Let's do it. It is going to be a beautiful day. I'm really excited and glad you're coming along with me, Cycle Drag. Let's see Drag Race in Canada. And I might say this man's looking dapper. How's it feel? Canadian version, Cycle Drag. I love it. And look at what we have here for a scenic view in the background. Terry, on our way to the track, you, you stopped. We got Mount Baker back there. It's still snow. It's June, and we got snow on the mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll have my... It'll get bald by September. Good Lord. Snowing. It is so beautiful here. It's such a comfortable day, too. The sun's out, but it's cool. Let me ask you this. How do you get through the winters here, being a motorcycle guy? It must be a long, cold winter. We go skiing. You go skiing. Downhill skiing. <laughs> But it's perfect now. Well, I'm from Pittsburgh, and quite honestly, it's probably not much different because Pittsburgh winters are awful. It's still winter in Pittsburgh. And Terry, I really want to thank you for stopping by your, your mother's grave. I know she meant the world to you. She was awesome, supported racing, and she's right here on the way to the track, huh? Mom, I got all the corn planted, grass is off. I love you. God bless her. She's going to be smiling down today. She's proud of you, buddy. She's she proud is. of you. I got it. This is technically Abbott's for God bless. Beautiful day here. And Terry, I think your mom's getting a nice chuckle out of this because I parked right next to a pile of manure I stepped into here. So that's okay. Welcome to Canada. Good fertilizer. And so Terry says, I haven't seen anything yet. Remember, this man is a farmer. Road and farms up here. So we're going to get a quick look at that. That is what funded all those awesome pro mods and funny bikes that this man rode. And I'm not a hobby farmer. He's not a hobby farmer. He's, he's not a, a hobby farmer. He's a real farmer. All right, we are here, Mission Raceway Park. All right. Welcome to Mission Raceway Park. All right, we got Mount Baker in the background. Terry, how many years have you been coming to this racetrack? 20. Woo! Is it smooth? Mud. Yeah, it's, good, it's a nice track. Good shutdown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good shutdown. A good shutdown. A nice long track. Yeah. That's important. At sea level, records are broken here. Maybe we'll see some fast numbers today. Terry, we're, we're being shown some real Canadian hospitality. Nice to meet you, young nice. lady. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. You're very welcome. You're you, see, you see the power of the shirt, Terry, already? I think she was a little sweet on you. What do you think? That is awesome, guys. Can't wait to check it out. Of course, we do have a car event going on mixed with the bikes. Talk about a scenic backdrop. We're right up against the river. What river is that? This is where all the world record, record sturgeons are. Sturgeons? We wanted, we wanted to take Jack out, but we, he's only here for two days. Wow, right up against the it's river. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. And we have found the motorcycle pits. All right. Top fuel. Hey, you never know who you're going to see in Canada. <laughs> Nice Harley. Hey, you never know who you're Holy gonna see shit. here. Welcome to, thanks for having me to Canada. Look at this wow. setup. I can't wait thanks to see Thanks for coming, some, Jack, this thank, is excellent. Thank you for having me. I yeah, can't wait to see some Top Fuel Harley action here well, today. we're gonna do our best. So Terry, what, 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 what are they doing here, logging? What, what is this? Bar, those are barges, log. Log, log barges? Log barges. So they, they send just, cargo they just, with them. They just float, the, they get the big logs up. Uh, Wow. Up country and float them down the river amazing, to amazing. all the mills. What you, we got you the good luck stickers. They're going to make that's you go right in the right, fives. That's right. We got a heck of a crew here. We got a new cycle drag reporter working hard. Are you going to ask the tough questions today? I'm going to have to learn American. There we go. There we go. Really cool to see some quality machinery up here in Canada. I think we're in for a show, guys. And it is officially a cycle drag video because I found myself a Hayabusa. Yes, Terry, you know, every cycle drag video isn't complete until I find a Hayabusa. Look at that. Oh my God, what do you see what we have here? Terry, What? Do we, this is not something that I gave out already. Who did this? I don't know. I think this is Gary Christopher. Ah, maybe. there we go. Holy shit, is that cycle drag? What's up, bud? What's Welcome your name? Welcome to Bruce Columbia, Canada. Thank you very Shane, much. Shane Harder. I like the Honda. Ah, you should see. I got a better bike at the trailer, but we're going to run the street bike this weekend. Well, we can't wait to do some coverage on you. Awesome. Hey, come check it out. How about that? Good to see you guys. Well, here's a throwback. You know, Pro Stock Motorcycles still run the TL body. Here's an SRAD TL 1000, 2000 Suzuki. Love it, man. Awesome. And check this out. My man, Don Fergan. H2750 built by the great Paul Gas. He's helped support the races that I have down in Michigan too. It is so cool to be up here. Two strokes in Canada. Gotta love it. 
<laughs> yeah, so well, that's where we came up with the theme, Sonic Raider. Appropriately named yeah. Sonic Raider. Can't yeah. wait to hear it today. You will. We got V-Rod Destroyers up in Canada too. Only 660 of these made. Here's where one of them is. Here's where one of them is. There you go. I like this Turbo KZ or KZ as you say up here in Canada, huh? Yeah, that's how we say it here, yeah. 1327? 1327. Oh my. Can't wait to hear it come to life. Just like in Australia, it's it's KZ and it's it's decals, right? Decals. Decals. We call them decals. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Running, yeah. running low. Let me see if I got another pair of right decals. I think we got a pair of decals. Also, now that KZ is ready to go. You're telling me we're gonna let, we're gonna hear it come to life? Right now. We're going to hear it come to life, ladies and gentlemen. It is a 1327 turbocharged Kawasaki KZ up here in Canada. Let's listen to some sweet KZ or KZ music, as they like to say. Sounds awesome. I love it. Now let me ask you this: Does that old classic KZ have anything for these Booster Boys? Does it have? Oh, well, I don't know the Booster Boys, but it's got something for everybody. The Hayabusa. Yeah. I mean, we can run with the Hayabusa, yeah, well, right? We're not a Hayabusa dude. We're Kawasaki. I like it. Old school. Old school. Terry, what do you think about this? I know you've been a Suzuki GS guy, but Living this... Living the dream. How about the KZ? You like it? I love it. I had, I had one. You had a KZ as well, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's I how got we a... all start. That's right. I got a ninja at home you can take for a ride when we get home. Oh, how about that? So you're, you're a Kawasaki guy as well. I like them all. I like yeah. them all too. You know Dang what? The fist between your legs, yeah. If you guys, yeah, if you watch Cycle Drag, we say if it has two wheels, we're well, in. But look at yeah, this awesome motor. What's your best off, ET on this bike? Eight, eight thirty one at one hundred and sixty miles. Nice. Light. How about this track? Pretty smooth. Yeah, pretty absolutely smooth. the best in Canada that we come to. Yeah. Good to hear, man. Will you be safe today? And it's we'll... nice and warm, and the air is good. We're ready to go. Yes, it is. I got to get this sticker too because a man in Rosamond, California. Named Jay Eschbach will be very happy about that. Look at this, showing love the man cup, showing love the cycle drag. Guys, show him some love. It's a beautiful Kawasaki KZ. Thank you. I'm getting a big, you're giving me a shirt. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, guys. Matt Smith, the third Matt, Matt Smith McKay I know. McKay Matt Smith. McKay Smith. Get it right. Matt McKay Smith. Hey, Matt Smith's a good name to have on his it motorcycle a drag racer. You there, there you go. go. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And you know what's cool? I can say I've never had a purple shirt in my life. It's going to be my first purple We're shirt. So so I'm excited well, for that. And I'm glad to see the KZ or KZ alive and well up here in Canada. Beautiful motorcycle. And here's the big sanctioning body up here the CMDRA. Everybody getting ready to go. Always love that livery on the ZX14. That is a 08, right? That's correct. 08. Very cool. Meeting all kind of friends and followers. What's your name, sir? Uh, Patrick from Chilliwack. You watch Cycle Drag? All the time. You're the man. It is lunchtime and here. Especially the Nitro Harleys, but I watch them all. Thank you, Here's sir. Here's a corn dog. Oh, the a corn dog. If you're yeah. awesome. I'm getting all kind of gifts. Thank you very much. Well, I like your style over here. You can't beat this seat, huh? Just pull the tailgate right up back. You have to the case, man. How about that? That's what we do in the States. Even in Canada, we have talented female motorcycle riders. What's your name, ma'am? Tiffany. Where are you from? I'm from Edmonton. What are you riding today? Lowrider S. I love it. Are there a lot of female racers in Canada? Not a lot. Not to ride the big bikes. Okay. Well, good luck. We'll be watching for you today. Sir, could you repeat that? You look a lot younger in person than you do on TV. I like it. I thought he was going to say I look older in person, but hey, so maybe YouTube's making me look a little older. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. And how about this, another female motorcycle drag racer in Canada, and she's on a Harley. What's your name, ma'am? Bailey. How long have you been motorcycle drag racing? 
Uh, one week. One week? <laughs> Good lord, what do you yeah. think so far? It is addicting and incredible. Alright, well I yeah. see you got all your safety gear, you got your leathers back there, so keep it safe, have a good ride. We got this whole team ready to go. What do you think? Is she passing the test? Is oh, she she's gonna crush it out there. Oh, good <laughs> stuff guys, good stuff. Wide open. There you go, wide open. Good luck to you today. Thank you. Ah, that's so cool. Look at the love they're showing us up here in Canada. Gotta love it. You said one side's got a little scrape? Yeah. That's a, hey, as long as you're okay, that happens, huh? That is a little fucking gnarly. Ah, that happens, that happens. I'll tell you, it means a lot to meet people from far and wide who watch our outlet. I gotta, I gotta tell you, admittedly, sometimes I look at the numbers on YouTube and I'm like, oh yeah, not that many people watch it. Numbers don't lie. We are connected and people are watching. And I think that is so cool because I always tell the story when I was a kid, which wasn't that long ago, I know back in my day, my dad used to take me to the corner store so I could get a magazine and read about what happened at the AMA Pro Star races like three months before. That's how I learned about Larry McBride running the first five when he did it in Pro Star. Now the world has changed. We are all so connected. I know so many of you are watching from different countries and I love it when you comment down below and let me know where you're watching from. Look at this awesome family passing time. Sewing in between rounds? Oh, yeah. I like it. You're awesome. Way to do it. Well, now you're really humbling me because you're a car guy, but you're saying you watch Cycle Drag. I ride a Harley, but I... Uh... You Absolutely rock. watch Cycle Drag. You got man. one bad to the bone Camaro over here too, huh? Yeah, man. Keep her safe today. Will do. Look at that. On a top fuel Harley with pinpoint accuracy. Thank you very much, guys. So cool to see the fuelers up here. This is an ex Mike Pellrine bike, now owned by my man. Could you please introduce yourself to Cycle Drag YouTube? Pete Wong from good, the 9 BC. Good luck today, man. I know he's excited. He's excited to put down a number. Go time for these guys. Hello, thank you very much. What's your name? Cassidy. Where are you from? Maple Ridge. Very cool. Are you racing today? No. Ro rooting on? Who are you cheering for? This this gentleman over here? Shout out to Horseman. He's got the Buell. Sir, could you please repeat that? Every night, Cass puts you on, and that's how we fall asleep. I, well, I am humbled and flattered. I don't know if putting you to sleep is the best thing for Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's the, the bikes are, are soothing for us. Excellent, man. Well, it seems like you guys got a great turnout here. Motorcycle drag racing alive and well in Canada. Absolutely. I can't right. wait to watch you guys. Thank you very much. Hey, Thank you. better than melatonin. Put it on That's to great. go to bed. I must say you're looking wonderful. Thank you so much, my man. Well, guys, this is interesting. Top View Harley was coming up, but Terry, they actually backed them off. They said they don't like where the track's at right now. They want to get some more rubber down. Is uh, that it? Yeah, they need more prep. Need more prep. Let's take a look, guys. They have been running some cars here today, but uh, that's pretty cool. Work the track. They got to work the track a little bit more. Now they're going to scrape and make sure this surface is perfect for the fuel Harleys before they come up. That's really cool. And here is a taste of Canada. And if you notice these prices, remember there's a difference between American money and Canadian money. Oh, Smells good, that's for sure. Smells yeah. good. Thank you very much to the hardworking ladies in there. Yeah, just like in the States, track food. Hey, we're breaking the diet today. That's okay, it's delicious. Thank you very much. That's how you stay so slim and smell. Now I gotta ask this. Living the dream. I got bacon on my cheeseburger. Would that be Canadian bacon? Only. Canadian we don't bacon. Use American bacon. Oh, okay, Canadian bacon. Have you, have you ever heard of Have you heard of Canadian bacon? Oh, I sure have. And that's well, have it. you heard of American bacon? You don't hear about it, do you? That's, that's a good point. That's a good Just point. Saying. Just saying. RZ 350. Never know what you'll see. Nitro grease. They got this top end on this Harley, all greased up, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Now I have a quick question you guys may be able to help me with. As a Diet Pepsi connoisseur, does Diet Pepsi taste a little bit different in Canada? Could could that be? Could, I, I don't taste a little different. It's good. Different blend. Must be this Canadian water back here. Who remembers these? Big Red. Excuse me, young lady, what do you call this? It's called a poutine. It's very popular this in Canada. Called, okay, this is called a poutine. What exactly is a poutine in Canada? Uh, fries, gravy, and cheese. I always wondered what a poutine was. Well, yeah. thank you very much. A of delicacy. Course. Making me hungry. Absolutely. <laughs> 
what a day it has been. Let me bring you guys up to speed. It has been a long day, a lot of cars to run down this racetrack. I wanted to wait till this final session here on Saturday night to let everybody get a little bit of track time. Some of these top fuel Harley racers are making their first passes of the year. So we're gonna pick this up. But I don't wanna call it a nighttime session because it doesn't, it's, it's I think 8.30 at night right now. I'm a little jet lag, sorry, don't know where I'm at, but uh, they're telling me it'll be light till 10 o'clock. So let's go check it out, guys. We got fuel Harleys in the lane. We got Pro Extreme coming up. It's gonna be awesome. Let's check out some of the bikes up here in Canada. A Gagnon in the lanes right there. Pete Wall. What a beautiful evening. I think this session could be really fast too because it was very hot today, but now we're starting to see some jackets and some sweatshirts out. It's really cooling off and it's time to bring out Top Fuel Harley. This is a motorcycle of Jimmy Sheldonberg from Surrey, BC. He doesn't live far from here. This is his home track, ready to make a hit. This Top Fuel hey, motorcycle hey, belongs to Nate Gagnon, Vancouver you Island, about an hour away. Pro you can see Nate suited up. up over there. Guys, it's an extreme sport when you wear a bulletproof vest. He's got that on to Pro protect Fuel's his chest. He's 48 years old. He's been racing top fuel since two. I'll tell you, young man, doing a great Running job. He's been racing fuel since 2019. Wah, I love it. You're Camaro. telling me we got to take a ferry to get here? And here yeah. comes Scott Robinson ferry boat. Dedication, and Brian Rich. Hey, this last session, as evidenced by that jacket right there, it's cooling down. How are conditions looking on your end? Oh, just looking great, man. The air is cooled off. The track's still nice. We're good, man. Good luck. Have a nice, safe Thank hit. You. Can't wait to watch him. He had a problem with the parachute last time out. They were able to get it fixed. They ended up running without a parachute. They got this one packed and ready to go. And this is the beautiful Top Fuel Harley of the man they call the John Force. The Canadian Top Fuel Harley, Ron Halmy. He's won a championship down in the States. He's been in it for so long. There he is. And then behind these guys, a whole host of Pro Fuel Harleys coming up carburetors, high gear only, 120 cubic inches, and then we got our Pro Extreme bikes. Beautiful Look night. Sunshine oh, that sun is track. brutal though. Reminds me of Rockingham. Certain tracks have that golden hour, which makes it very difficult right now. The sun is in direct view of the tree. Could be a problem for some of them, but because this is the home track for many, I'm sure they have their methods and their ways around it. You'll see those tinted shields out for sure. Racers really having to contend with a lot. How about it, Terry? That sun gets I, tough. I thought he was gonna do, fly. He was doing so good there, huh? He sure was. He sure was. The sun might have threw him off a little bit though, guys. And right now that sun is in direct view of the Christmas tree, but nothing Ron Halneet has not seen in his day. He's been doing this for decades.
the throttle, ladies and gentlemen. How about it? Your Canadian top fuel Harley. And again, that sun just, just absolutely brutal. Seems to be getting a little bit better though by the minute. And we bring up Pro Fuel. Pro Fuel next here. This difficult. It is golden hour here in Mission Canada, right outside of Abbotsford, about an hour and a half from Seattle. It has been a great event. We're looking forward to more Pro Fuel Harleys coming up. Mission BC, yes it is. Mission, not Abbotsford. I didn't say it was Abbotsford. Who's calling me out? That's twice today. I said mission. I said near Abbotsford. I said near Abbotsford. <laughs> They're particular about their area. They're particular about their area here. Corrected me. That's okay. I deserve corrected. Abbotsford on that one. Here we go guys. This is the Pro Extreme category. Gary Christopher's very talented son. There's Gary. There's Gary right here. There's his son. This is the Gator Maker Kawasaki alongside Matthew McCain Smith. Left lane. Turbo Suzuki Hayabusa.
something not right, doesn't want to do a burnout. So it'll be a solo pass. Terry knows that. He's been there. There we go. Left side, we didn't miss anything there. He smokes the tire hard. Smokes the tire hard. How about that that's run? A six, that's uh, Austin 651, right? Woo, that's flying. That's flying. That's Terry Schweiger territory there. Getting there. Good luck. Congratulations, Team Christopher. Good luck, Rob Aston. He hopes to be the first Canadian to put a street tire bike in the sixes. And over here, out of Testa Racing. Okay. Oh, looks like we could be down for a second. Okay. We got a little bit of cleanup. Truly amazing. What's the turnaround like on these bikes? I see you're servicing the clutch. What else do you have to do? Uh, so we leave it up to Steve. He does the magic with the fingers. We all agree on something and then we go do it. We started out really mellow today, so now we'll start stepping on it. And I see it's a Max ECU system that you have on this bike. Yes, it was uh, Dan Wagner put it on back east and uh, helped us tune it for the first bit. And as mentioned, we got to check in with a man who runs the XDA, has run Man Cup, Mr. Rob Ashton. Rob, you tell me, you want to be the first Canadian to go into sixes with a street tire. What's the challenge in doing that up here? Is it the tracks? Yeah, it's all track related with tune-up. So if we go out testing, we'll get one hit, maybe two hits, but they're not prepping continually like they do with Jason at XDA as an example. So we can't just make little tweaks to get better and better because as soon as we try to go faster, we end up putting too much in it, blow the tire off, have to turn it down. I understand. Well, good luck to you. Wish you the best. You think there's a chance you could do it here this pass? Not this one, but <laughs> I'm hoping tomorrow. I don't okay. think the track's here right now, but thanks. Very cool, guys. Wish him well. He's got his street tire. He's got his DME swing arm, and he's trying to get this machine in the sixes. <laughs> You will be reached out in the pits and dragged back. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Uh-oh. He said don't put any oil on his racetrack. It's been a long day. That's okay. We got a new DME diaper. New DME diaper. Shout out to our friends at DME. Guys, is this an awesome new Suzuki Hayabusa or what? D and G chassis Carlo Testa engine. How to Testa race engines. Rob Aston will be in the other lane. See what this individual can do, man. This is gonna be awesome. But what a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. Carlo out of Ohio. Great build, man. Thank you, this thank thing you, is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of heart and soul, buddy. That's what it takes to get something like this going. Yeah. I see that, man. And I didn't expect you. I know you build so many engines. You told me 30 over the off season. I didn't expect you to ever go this direction. You think you're gonna become a pro yeah. builder here? No, pro no. This is this is just for me. My Uncle Glenn over here. And, Uncle Glenn. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Well, you got a beautiful piece, man. I love it. Thanks. What's this thing like to ride? Uh, like a wild horse. Like a wild horse. Well, you're right at home because you said you used to ride horses. Let's take a good look at it, guys. Brand new build. Man, is this thing awesome. D&G, Dave Skaggs out of Florida built the chassis. Carlo did just about everything else, right? It, it was down. It, it was down to a bare frame. Yeah, Woo! down to a bare frame, and every uh, we we touched every nut and bolt on this thing. Yeah. What was the most difficult part of this build? Uh, really, it's the wiring. It's always the wiring, wiring and plumbing, trying to make it just make it look right. You know what I mean? And, and just let's go. Okay, we're going. You want rate lane? You want rate lane? Let's let's do this. Is it time to go home? Yep. <laughs> been a long day i know some of you might be like hey the sun's still out it's like 10 o'clock guys it doesn't get dark in canada we're close to alaska but nonetheless we okay, wish uncle glenn the frazier the, uh, the best of luck let's watch this awesome hayabusa run let's fire this boost up
119, 139. Big improvement from his first pass. Congratulations to guys in the comments. Join us and congratulate Carlo on a beautiful build. What a day it has been, guys. Day, night, I don't know what it is. I guess I need some sleep at some point. That's all right. Ah, smell that glorious race gas. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour of Kando. We got many more cool motorcycles to see. Putting on a good show out here. I hope you're enjoying it. It might, it might be time for me to catch a few Z's if you don't mind. Much better, nice hotel here in Canada. I'll tell you this too, here is my advice if anybody tries to do this. When you take these marathon trips, you have got to get yourself a good night's sleep. You have got to get a good seven, eight hours because I know sometimes you travel far and wide, at least I do, you get so excited, the adrenaline's pumping, you wanna see everything. Man, you have got to take a time out and get some shut eye and recharge and, and that's what I was able to do. So now it's race day, baby, let's go. Very comfortable bed here in Canada. Hats off, slept great. Especially when you consider what I'm about to do. And that is, I'm gonna cover the race all day and then I'm so busy, I got a red eye out of here. A lot of times that's the only way I can make these trips work. Feel for me, triple legger, which we don't like. Uh, Vancouver to Seattle to Charlotte, back to Tampa. But that is all the more reason that you really need a good night's sleep because I'll sleep on the airplane tonight. But it was worth it to get up here. This is really cool, a bunch of great people. It's really neat to watch people uh, and meet people that watch the channel and enjoy our content. And I may have the world's greatest Canadian Uber driver. You're the man, thank you very much. He's taking good care of me this weekend. Let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. Thank you very much. You do a great job at this hotel. I understand you're gonna subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Yes. Thank you very much and come see you at the Coast Hotel, right? Excellent job, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Look at this, Terry. We promise we'll do a little commercial for the hotel. Fireplace over in here, how comfortable, but you're the man. I'm enjoying this trip, man, so thanks a lot. Canadian, Canadian hospitality, thanks for taking care of my friend. It's the best. Thank no you problem. very much, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, nice meeting you nice guys. Nice meeting you. Cycle drag, motorcycle <laughs> drag racing. Yeah, fast. We got the fastest man in Canada right yeah. here, guys. Oh, fastest man in Canada. Second fastest. Second thanks for subscribing. There so thank you, Terry. And this is what's cool, you know, you, 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 in the lobby, you never know where you're gonna meet somebody who may follow along and now be watching for a long, yeah. long time. So awesome, guys, let's go. The nice people. Nice people. Monster. Wait, say that again, Terry? What's a monster? Uh, you never heard of Monster Energy? Oh! Uh, yeah, I need, I, I need a monster. Sorry. That's okay, oh, that's okay. Sorry. I just need a monster. I'm idling a little bit this morning. We'll get a monster. We'll be okay, though. I thought for a second they didn't have a monster in Canada. Terry never heard of monster. I've heard of monster. Oh, you heard of monster. Okay, good stuff. Here we go. Let's go make some haters today. Oh, we don't want haters. Haters. I see. There's a few. You know, it's like Chuck from Street Outlaws told me, you got to love your haters. They're just as valuable as your loyal followers. So I love you, haters. If you don't have haters, you're not trying hard enough. Amen, Terry. He knows. <laughs> I gotta say, that was great hospitality. Now we're gonna get to go see Road End Farms. Yes. Dan yeah. Wagner once called it Rodent Farms by accidents. Not Rodent Farms, it's Road End Farms. Some people call it Rear End Farms. <laughs> some, keep, some people call it Dead End Farms. Okay. <laughs> and Rodent see. Farms. I can't wait to see it. No, but it's it's actually Road End, End farms. farms. Here's one thing I'm surprised about, Terry, too. Did you you're ever good. think you're, about... You're uh, so good. Oh, I'm not good. Uh, we're just, you know, we're good. having fun. Did you ever think about wrapping your bike, Road End Farms? Did you ever think about advertising? No. No, no well, actually, it was, it's got the two flags because we got one foot on the border. We're right on the Canada-U.S. border, so I would. Yes, you are. That's why it has the, that's cool. why it has the American-Canadian. And flag. we're at a shell station. We're going to get a monster in Canada. Monster. This was a little scary the other night in here. It's a little more peaceful oh, no, right no, now. No, 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 that was... Seven, I took him to 7-Eleven and I was through 
Yeah, hey, I've been to Brooklyn before. Can, I know all you about can get it. All right. at 7 -11. All right, let me get a monster. <laughs> ah, there we go. That'll help me get through this race day. 459. Remember, that's Canadian. That's Canadian. It's kind of hot today, too, so we're going to get a couple of these. All right, essentials. We're going to grab the protein bar. Man, I have one question. Is there any difference between American monster and Canadian monster? Difference between? Yeah. Hey, oh, I'm sorry, but all right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you very much. All right, so very nice young lady. How about that, guys? Uh, two monsters, two Gatorades, one protein bar. Twenty-one forty-three. Inflation running wild. I'm gonna have to do the the math here. Uh, Canadian still sounds expensive either way, but that's okay. We're ready to go. This cool little school. You tell me, three generations of Swigerts went there. You, your dad, your son. That is cool, guys. Yep. Look at this beautiful country up here. And you're telling me this is where all the smoke ends up from the fires, but we're not yeah, having any today, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't even see the mountains. Thank yeah, goodness. A month from now, when it's when the mountain, when everything's on fire and it's already everybody's irrigating. Well, here we go, Terry. I always wanted to see the famous Road End Farms. Road End, there it is, baby. It's so cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Look, cows in there, auto feeding. Look at this, hell, hell of an operation you got up here, Terry. How many cows do you have? A thousand animals. Downsize the little. Downsize the 900. That's downsize a lot of the, livestock. I had to sell up here. A lot of livestock. Racing. Yeah, you got to sell some so you can go raising. So, Terry, you're telling me this corn right here, eighth of a mile. This is an eighth this of a mile. 10 feet short. Oh of an my eighth of gosh. A mile. You could drag race in here. You could drag race through here. There's a bit of a bump up here. Holy moly. You're telling me 11,000 liters of milk a day is what is produced here for you. It's wow. Produced here, yeah. You're keeping people strong. It does a body good, huh? It does. Thank you, Terry. Look at this beautiful countryside. All these cows responsible for a lot of horsepower at the drag strip. This is the house you were born and raised in. Terry, I mean, it's just so peaceful back here. Really, really cool. What a beautiful countryside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to come up to the oldest building in Abbotsford. Oldest building in Abbotsford? Wow. What year was it built? You know? sure. Shoo! How you know it's the oldest? <laughs> you giving me bad info? That's it. No, this is awesome. Wow, what an operation. What is this over here? This is the shit pit. What? Are you kidding me? I'm not, and it's got another one right beside it. What, that's where you dump the manure? No, it, it, it all flows. All the barns are, are, are a 1% smoked. Oh, so they, boy. That's how we clean them. That would explain the delectable smell. It smells like... <laughs> Smells, smells like money to me, Jack. There you go. Smells, smells like, like farming. I like it. I like it. Going to the United uh, States. Well, I was going to say, we're really good. This reminds me of that scene from uh, Casino <laughs> where they're taking them, Joe Pesci out in the desert. You're, you're not mad at me, are you, Terry? Oh, man. Say I goodbye to Jack. Oh, please, no. Please, no. I don't know where we're going, guys. Take a look at this, guys. This is wild. That is the U.S.-Canada border. We are on the border. Here's the border post. Unbelievable. This is why I have the Canadian American flag on my well, Yeah, you are half now. So I'm in Canada. I'm in Canada. You go to Canada. Canada. You're in the United States. I'm in the United States. <laughs> we don't seem to have any problems at this border. Wow. Well, they'll be coming soon. Let's take it quick. Oh, where are we going? He's, you're in the United States. I'm in Canada. I want to show you this. Let's go check it out. So this is the border post. This is the border post. Wow. Canada. Okay. Canada Ridge right there. Uh-huh. 35 miles from the Pacific Coast. Now we're in the United States. That's cool. That is cool. Wait, you said I should go back home? Okay, I'm going to go back home for a second. I'm going to go over to the United States. United States? Now I'm back in Canada. United States? Now I'm back in Canada. They got it. They got it. How about that, guys? We aren't so different after all. What's a border, huh? Smells good. Oh yeah. Whole place is run with three employees and there's one of them. Shout out, my man. We, we gotta give a big shout out to one of the hard working employees here. Hey, they he's, call you the he's, Undertaker. He's, yeah. I like it, man. Well thank he's our, you. He's our quarterback. Thank you for the hard work, quarterback. Thank you. Look at Terry's brand new house being built. Awesome. Very good. Well, got a guest room. Everybody knows it has a guest room. Well, Terry, thanks so much for the tour of Road and Farms. This is great. Let's get back to the drag strip. You're the man. Here we go. Back at the drag strip. Another great turnout of street bikes today. Fans ready to go. Door slammers coming. Another beautiful day. They love it. Three, two, one. 
dissecting data, guys. Dissecting data, this awesome motorcycle. It is a billet, Kawasaki KZ. Step by step. Owned by Gary Christopher. We're running out of time. That is his son, Austin. Austin, you're flying on this thing this weekend. Two 651s. Yeah, it's pretty fun, man. What do you think? Any more left in it? Lots. Oh, lots. We're going to see Dad. We got to talk to you. You got to be one proud pop over here. Back to back 651s, and he said he was out of the yeah, throttle. That took care of all the Canadian records. Amazing. Eight mile, quarter mile. What was Six miles an hour. Terry Schweigert, how about a new Canadian Pro Extreme record? Moving on up. He's approaching Terry territory. Excellent. That's he amazing. He rode it, didn't he? Good lord. Now you've been that fast on a motorcycle. What's that like to go that fast on a turbo bike? It's a rush. It's a rush. It's a Very pure cool. adrenaline rush. I miss it. We've got a mega matchup coming up from Canada here. Rob Ashton, who is hunting down the first six second street tire run in Canada, knows he's got a very formidable opponent in the other lane because here comes Gary Christopher, always tough, Philly Gator Maker, Kawasaki KZ. His son just ran a track record. Does Gary have anything in the tank as well? We're about to find out. This is a max ECU. Turbo Frustrating, but good catch. They're looking out for you, huh? Yeah, I'd rather have it this way than uh, do something silly down track on some oil. You know, this is the frustrating part of drag racing. Sometimes you have to wait. But I know right now, Gary Christopher just got to be delighted at what his son is able to do. Brand new Canadian Pro Extreme record. Unbelievable. Gary, sorry about your luck here, but. I guess it's good they're erring on the side of caution. Well, we're here, we're here. We hurt ourselves in California, Jack. <laughs> well, hey, how about that son of yours? 634? Unbelievable. Well, he wants us to turn the power up for him now, so we obviously know that a little bugger can ride it. Amen. You got a similar tune in your bike? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or is no, that a, sp no, no. a spicier tune? No. Let's... This is old school, man. <laughs> well, you're you got an old school, awesome motorcycle. So, good luck. I know Terry. I know Terry's thoroughly impressed at everything he's seen. I counted to the shade. 
We're gonna back it out into the shade, guys. Hope you are enjoying looking, the I mean, coverage. With that, that Elvis, he should be called Elvis. Yeah, El, he's looking good. They were talking about his new fancy leathers. Looking good. Let's do it. So that's frustrating for both competitors, but you will never second guess that decision. Look, it is, it is always better to err on the side of caution, stop them, check the racetrack. I commend the starter, I commend the track staff. I really, really like that, guys. Make sure there is not one drop of oil on this racing surface before you send those high horsepower machines down. But I must say, for your first time out, you're just doing fantastic. Um, how do you think you're able to adapt so quickly? I like to win. <laughs> you like to win. This motorcycle is such a work of art. I love it. I know all the Kawasaki KZ fans are rooting for it hard with the billet cases made by the Gator Maker. And we got both father and son in competition today. I got to ask Steven a question if he gets a chance. Steven, I got to ask you, what's the toughest part of tuning this Max ECU on this Kawasaki KZ? Smooth. Okay. It has to be smooth. Now, I heard a rumor, if you could confirm, I heard you were even better than Steve Nichols. No, I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Steve Nichols taught me a lot, and I always appreciate his help. He is my main dealer here in Canada, and um, he taught me a lot, and um, I just do what I do and help everybody here to help grow the sport. Very cool. Shout out Steve Nichols. Let's show you some of the sportsmen up here. Here's the noisy boy on the Victory Harley in the other lane. We got the Suzuki GSXR 1000. Stock wheelbase Suzuki Hayabusa with an MPS auto air shifter ready to roar. He'll be taking on this Kawasaki CX-14. That's right, plenty of tough sportsman racers up here in Canada as well, and they love the drag race. How about Turbo CX-14? How about a 2004 Suzuki Hayabusa? Big shout out to the hard working staff working hard. I love it. Got the TL-1000, the Harley over here. A lot of support from this young lady. She's been cheering you every step of the way. Yeah, I know. You might okay. order a steak dinner over here. Yeah. And we got the Yamaha RZ350 as well. It is nice to see somebody still pushing the envelope with a KZ setup with all these boosas out there. We see a lot of turbo high boosas, but you are sticking with old school. Gary, what is it about the KZ that got you sticking with it? Well, we ran on this track in 1974. Wow. Yeah, with the KZs, out of the box stuff, you know, and then we just gradually just started trying different things. Yashimura, then the turbochargers came in in 78 with the ADP stuff, and yeah. I, I love still, it. I still have my original 78 turbo bike. Oh, we're going to have to see. You're going to send me a picture, guys. I know we love our KZs. Well, how about it? Let us know in the comments if you love the Kawasaki KZ. How about a big shout out to Team Christopher up here in Canada? Beautiful configuration a lot. Semi-final time. I'll tell you this, Austin Christopher is coming off of his track record. He was a 634, 210. That is a Canadian Pro Extreme record. This is an old school billet Kawasaki. Guess what? Dad's gonna walk to the motorcycle and dad's coming up, so don't go anywhere. Let's see if dad has anything for son. Good luck getting lane choice. It's not gonna be easy. 
That is for sure. It'll be a father-son final as we get set to go here. I, I think Dad might just break the beam. I don't know. We're going to find out, guys. Will Dad go for lane choice? That's the question. We're going to have to find out. But his son just ran 212 miles an hour. Another new record, Josh. Another new track record, speed record. Sherry loves it 100%. Oh, it's just the competitor's name that's Brooke. Matt. Matt Matt McKay-Smith. And Gary gets the bye. Matt McKay-Smith lost the rod out of Mississippi High Abusa. It's all come down to this top fuel Harley fans. This battle of two talented Canadians, two talented teammates. This is our final round in the left lane. It'll be a man who started racing top fuel Harleys in 2019 and has quickly carved out a name for himself. It is Pete Wan in the other lane. His teammate, one of the top racers in this area, Nate Gagnon. He is so tough to beat. This one's going to be a showdown, guys. Cannot wait. Top Fuel Harley Final. Who's taking it all here from Mission Raceway Park, Mission, B.C. You know it's going to be a great show with these two T's ready. He's pumped. Here we go, guys. Top Fuel Final from Canada. Give it a shot. worked as a team and we're we're here to dominate so congratulations and i gotta give a big shout out to this young lady you stood by him all weekend long great support how much does this mean to you it means a lot well it's, big it's an honor to be here you're going to the winner's circle you're leaving with the trophy congratulations guys wish him well pete wow he's a bad man getting it done big congrats pro fuel harley are you ready Woo! <laughs> you think your team is gonna put down a number here are these bikes awesome to watch or what? They're pretty good. Excellent. Thanks so much. Let's see, guys. Pro Fuel Harley. She loves them. Ready? No, no power, man.
1.55. She loves it. Big win. Her team coming away with a W victorious here in Canada. We got to give a big shout out to Tiff. She's doing awesome. Her first race. She's killing it. 2-0. And, oh, and I think she's got the Byron here. You may just have to beat it. Consistent run, another consistent run for Gasoline Alley team. She's going on here in her very first race. Lots more sportsman racing still to go. We got a long way to go here. Fortunately, I've got a long way to go too. I'm talking a three-legger back to Tampa, Florida. That's cool. They were asking me for one of those fancy decals, as they say. Remember, not decals. It is a decal. It's high. Boost is going around. So is this machine over here. Wow. Look at my man up in Canada on the street bike. Supermoto street bike. Class. Pretty cool. And it was like Canadian champ for like four years. Ago. Canadian champ. Nice bike. Boy, what a joy it was to see all these great racers up here in Canada. I had a really good time visiting with some cool racers, man. Thanks so much. You got the... Now, it's not a decal, right? It's a decal. It's a decal. It's a decal. It's a, it's a KZ in a decal. How about that? How about that? All right, it's all come down to this in our Pro Extreme final father versus son, KZ versus KZ. We've already got a track record by Austin Christopher, right? Lane, what can he do here? Let's go, Kyle fans. Here you go. Remember, these motorcycles based off the legendary Z1 KZ. Here we go. Father, son, final round from Mission BC Canada. Hope you loved it. Let me know where you're watching from. Oh, we got ourselves a race bar to bar. How quick can they go? Top end of the racetrack. Watch Austin Christopher. How about a 629? That is now the quickest KZ run ever. You've seen history, Cycle Drag. Well, I'll tell you, this has been too much fun here, hanging out with all my friends from Canada. You never know where Cycle Drag will end up. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And we got to hustle, and I could maybe jump on that barge and make it back home, but we got to hustle to Vancouver Airport and get on out of here. And we got Nitro. What's up, Nitro? Wow. Enjoying the day. It's a doggone good time. There you go. Awesome. Great to meet everybody. Goodbye, Mission. Hope to see you again. Man, what an experience that was. What a great race day. <laughs> Met some friends. Yeah, you got to experience it a little bit, Terry. 48 hours of uh, go, go, go cycle drag, so... I thank you, man. That was awesome. Now we got to hustle to the airport. Get this, a three-legger, and I'm a little bit nervous. I fly American, which is cool, but I'm going Alaska through American. American booked it, but you have to check in with Alaska. You never know what you're going to get. I might not have my pre-check. You might be in the cargo room. I might be in the cargo room. I might be staying no. with you, but I'm like Ben Stiller and meet I the gotta, parents. I'm not letting go of my bag. Don't ever let go of your I'm bag. I'm going to get him to the track. Oh, boy, I'm he's hitting the gas. <laughs> No, nah, it's definitely beautiful up here in the countryside. That's very cool, man. As we get to the airport, we made it. We, we made, made it. it. Terry, you're the man. Hey, Terry, I want to thank you, brother. This has been so awesome. Guys, is he awesome or what? Enjoy it. Thank man, you for man. coming out here, putting Canada on the map. Thank you for being my tour guide. This was an awesome experience, and I can't wait to do it again, brother. So, so thank you. Again. I appreciate thank it greatly. He's the fast Canadian, Terry Schwager. Safe, safe travel. Thank you very much. Let's see how this goes. Terry's a great guy though. Was that awesome or what? Well guys, that is it. I really, really want to thank all the Canadian racers. I want to thank Terry. I want to thank Gary. And I hope you enjoyed this trip. This is what we do here on Cycle Drag. We're all connected. Like I said, we love motorcycles. We're a passionate, tight-knit community, even though there's oceans between us and many miles between us. But I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I went to my first drag strip in Canada. What an experience, guys. Well, we have much more coming and many more cool stops. We got some cool stuff coming up. So what you can do is hit subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a thing. And in the meantime, if you'd like another video, here's one for you. And you know if there's anything fast motorcycles, we're in. Cycle drag rolls on. Time to get home.